there's ego, there's politics, there's control, there's there's a lot. And here's the other thing I'll tell you, Eric. You you hit the nail on the head when you said Sebastian Bach was the star of Skid Row. I don't think anybody can argue that. That is pretty much a fact. When when Skid Row was on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine, they only put Sebastian on the cover. Right. But let's be let me say this. A statement like that even though it may be true, also grates on the other guys. And the reason why is because, as they'll quickly point out, he may have been the star of the band, but we wrote the songs. These songs existed before he was in the band, and it's our band. That's why they call that's why they can call their version Skid Row without him, because Snake and Rachel own the band and own the mm-hmm. name. And yep. they they it was their thing. And they went out and found him and then brought him in to sing on that first record. Sebastian's counter to that which is also very accurate, is that that record might not have done shit if it wasn't my voice and my face singing those videos. Right, exactly. So, so it's, you can see already, just in the conversation you and I are having, how both sides are going to have their counter to it, where Skid Row's position is going to be like, I got a guy that can sing fine, there's no drama, there's no bullshit, he gets the job done. It is what it is. We're happy with where it's at. Um, we're not rocking the apple cart. And the other side of it is, okay, you go back into what is potentially in their eyes a wild card. We get a lot more people. We make a lot more money. But is it really worth it in the end because we don't want to deal with it? 